Hi guys, welcome back to Young Entrepreneurs Week on behalf of Property Tribes, powered by Keller Williams. As I said, my name is Chris Buckler and I'm delighted to have with me young Kenneth Kelly from the KW Prime Market Centre. Ken, thanks for joining us. Cheers, Chris. What got you into property? What attracted you to the property sector? Um, firstly, I was um, introduced to Ben Taylor, yourself, um, in the, our old office in Argyll Street, um, was given the Property 101 book, which is basically millionaire real estate book, if you're not familiar with it. Um, and what is that? It's basically the fundamentals of any business, let it be property, anything for a young entrepreneur. It pretty much lists out the models, lead generation, organizational, budget, um, and economic, in order for any young entrepreneur to really cut their teeth in a new industry. I found it very helpful for me. Okay. Um, was always interested in the luxury um, industry. Um, I have a background in jewellery, so always kind of had a, you know, interest in property. Parents bought and sell property, so I found Keller Williams really good, you know, stepping stone into the property industry in the UK and just went for it. My first three or four months uh, was kind of cutting my teeth, getting to know, learn a new industry and a new market was tough. Keller Williams supported me, you know, put the likes of yourself, Ben, Nick, Gavin, really core group around me that were, you know, very helpful in that. Okay, cool. So, uh, luxury industry background, you're in the jewellery trade. Yes. Um, your parents bought and sold, and then you basically read a book, which is Estate Agency 101. Yeah. Okay, fine. Um, what would you... Take me through kind of your last three months and, and how you've changed and what, where your journey's gone. So, I firstly start off in the mindset. The mindset shift, obviously, from being a employee to being an employer is one of the biggest um, challenges, I would say, that I had. Um, so reading books like the MREA, The One Thing by Jay Papazan, um, you know, I try to read 50 books a year. So kind of always, I'm always learning, being learning based um, is, is probably the best way for any entrepreneur to succeed. The last three months I've got 10 listings, I've relocated a couple over from San Francisco who are now looking to purchase. Um, I've really developed models in my business that have allowed me for, for growth. Okay, perfect. And I think one thing you do really well, which I'd love to dive into, is you invest in yourself, whether it's reading books, whether it's going to conferences. Um, can you tell me about a couple of your trips to the States and what that's meant in terms of your personal development? So first trip was to Anaheim, to family reunion, and that was kind of my first real feeling of the 180,000 agents worldwide. Um, I kind of delved in, threw myself in the deep end in meeting up with kind of the brass, brass and the company. Um, so you've gone out, just to really clear, um, to a big, big conference we hold over there and you've tried to surround, they say you're some of the five people you hang around the most, right? So I know that's something you use, but you've tried to hang around some of the most influential people in real estate so that you can learn what they do, get contact. Yeah, basically absorb what they've learned, their mistakes, their challenges so that I can myself um, apply what they've what they've done um, in this industry and in the, in the UK market. And you've done well, right? You've um, got a couple of deals, I know, from that first trip that, that have landed. Yeah, I mean, I look at it as if I can get two or three referrals from a trip like that, it's covering the cost for my trip. Oh, easily, right? Yeah. Easily. Okay, fine. What else do you do differently? Or what, what other advice would you give to young entrepreneurs out there that... Um, from your learning, so you said you've learned you want to learn from others' mistakes rather than your own. What if you could pass on a, a nugget or a gem to some young entrepreneurs? What would you say? I would say go at it full force. Uh, always read, ask questions. Uh, don't be afraid to you know to go to people who are you know written bestsellers or. I'll give you an example. Last week I'd been messaging Jay Papazan. Wanted to get a one on one with him, messaged him on Instagram, kept up the rapport with him, and had a one on one with him. Okay, and he's an author of a few motivational books and yeah. process books and best practice books. Okay, cool. So I would say not being afraid to, to really just, you just know, just go for it. Go for it, and don't, you know, starting a business from scratch can be difficult, but really just to put your head down. The first three or four months are going to be tough. Surround yourself with successful people and get it done. Okay, just on that one. So if you'd have dropped, say, Jade, an Instagram or a Facebook, he didn't come back to you, how many times would you keep messaging the guy until he did? Three or four times. Yeah. 
you keep going with you. Just keep I going. Think you do, I think you do more than that. I think you do <laughs> you had an answer. No, but you, you, you keep it consistent. Yeah, keep consistent, on, right? you know, because he's, if, you know, if I give him good quality, you know, questions, I prepared the interview and he's now, I'm going to chase up with him again. He's following up with what we, what we discussed. So I would say, yeah, just consistency is key really in this, in this industry. Okay. Um, one of the things I think um, d- challenges young entrepreneurs, and it'd be great to hear how you deal with this, is you work some hard, at, long hours, you work pretty hard, but you still keep fit, you did a marathon. How do you manage that all? And again, what advice in terms of scheduling, time blocking, would you give to young entrepreneurs out there? I would say prioritize your week. Um, firstly, put in what's important to you, i.e. family, sport, and then work around it with you know time blocking in your calendar. If it's not in your calendar, it doesn't exist from Diane Griffin. Um, that was a massive learning for me to put everything in your Google Calendar, um, really prioritize your tasks. For me, I need to be on the phone for three hours. I need to be doing follow-ups. So really just you know getting down to what your one thing is. Um, I know I'm harping on about it, but it really has worked. Okay, fine. So you plan your time off first and then make your time in the office or client facing the most efficient it can be. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Anything else you'd like to share? Kind of a final tip for any young entrepreneurs out there. Maybe something that you've ha- something where you've failed forward. You've had to learn the hard way over the last twelve months. Uh, yes, I would say if you're interested in getting into any business, read, be constantly open to new suggestions, um, and yeah, follow models and systems. They're there for a reason. They're not, you know, they're, no one just throws them out willy nilly. It's it's. Uh, so learn from those who've travelled before you. Yeah, don't, don't don't be creative and try and reinvent the yeah, wheel. Yeah, don't put the triangle upside down. Keep it keep it the keep it the way it is. Okay, perfect. Ken, thanks so much for joining us. Guys, stay tuned for our next episode.